It's estimated that the world's population will be over 9 billion by the year 2050. Feeding that many people means that overall food production needs to increase by about 70 percent without significantly increasing the amount of land used for farming. The increase in production must come from higher yields. While facing scrutiny from consumers, advocacy groups, and regulators to incorporate sustainable practices. How do we succeed in doing this? What needs to happen within the production system of growing crops to increase yield without increasing the actual amount of land used to grow the crops? One tool available to address these issues is Accomplish LM. To understand the value of Accomplish LM, we need to understand the technology. Consider this, nutrients aren't always available for the crop's use when you apply fertilizer. Many nutrients are susceptible to environmental loss, while others need to be converted into available forms for utilization by plants. It's only through the actions of soil microbes that many nutrients become usable to the plant. Microbes transform organic nutrients into usable inorganic nutrients through biochemistry. Biochemistry is a broad topic, but can be summarized as the chemicals produced by a living organism. Some examples include saliva or tears. For our purposes, biochemistry is the result of microbial life cycles. For example, the biochemistry produced by certain soil microbes break down organic matter, create compounds to induce plant rooting, and mineralize nutrients. How does this relate to Accomplish LM? Accomplish LM is a biological fertilizer catalyst, specifically formulated to increase nutrient availability. It has two key benefits increase nutrient availability, and improve plant performance. With Accomplish LM, much of the microbial functioning that produces biochemistry happens at the manufacturing plant, and the grower receives both biology and biochemistry, providing an immediate effect on nutrient mineralization. They don't have to wait for the microbial activity to occur before the mineralization process begins, which allows plants to make use of newly applied nutrients. Here's a look at how this process happens. As we enter a standard cornfield, we see compacted soil with standing water and yellow stressed plants showing nutrient deficiencies. Moving underground, we see good but small root structures. The biochemistry in Accomplish LM can be used to increase the availability of the full spectrum of nutrients. Let's look at an example of this using calcium phosphate. The ionic bond between calcium and phosphate is broken by the biochemistry in Accomplish LM, freeing these ions for other interactions. In this example, the calcium moves to the exchange site on the soil colloid and replaces sodium and hydrogen. The sodium is free to flush beyond the root zone with an irrigation or rainfall event, while the hydrogen bonds with the recently freed up phosphate forming plant available H2PO4. The improvement in soil tilth from the balancing of the CEC base saturation levels allows the standing water to infiltrate the soil profile. Root tips can now intercept the newly available soil nutrients for uptake and utilization. Biochemical signals coupled with the increased nutrient availability lead to rapid root growth and development, resulting in a healthier field and greater yields. We can think about that from a different point of view, like a baseball diamond. In a traditional soil nutrient cycle, as soil temperatures increase, microbes start to wake up and function. As microbial functioning increases, we get the production of biochemistry, which leads to nutrient mineralization. That's when the nutrient becomes usable to the plant. As nutrient mineralization increases, we have nutrient uptake into the growing plant. And finally, as nutrient uptake increases, the nutrient begins to work inside the plant, which leads to yield. We've made it home, so we score one run. Now, with the addition of Accomplish LM, we still have the same process as before, except we start on second base, because we don't need to wait for increased soil temperatures to influence microbial functioning, and for that function to produce biochemistry. We are applying the biochemistry straight to the soil. With Accomplish LM, we have earned ourselves a ghost runner. As soil temperatures increase, those increased temperatures lead microbes to start living and functioning. 
That's still happening, but our ghost runner advances to third base. Then, as microbial functioning increases, we get production of biochemistry, which leads to nutrient mineralization. At the same time, our accomplished LM Ghost Runner has just moved home, producing yield and scoring one run. As nutrient mineralization increases, we have nutrient uptake into the growing plant. And again, as nutrient uptake increases, we have nutrient functioning which leads to yield. We score another yield run. You see the benefit here of applying Accomplish LM? We get to start on second base, so we're avoiding possible negative effects of abiotic and biotic factors between fertilization and microbial function, and between microbial function and mineralization. Nutrient mineralization and uptake happen earlier, at a quicker rate, and to a greater extent, resulting in higher yield. In this example, you can see how Accomplish LM improves the availability and uptake of nutrients from fertilizers and soil nutrient sources. Based on this information, we see that applying more nitrogen to a crop is not always the answer to gain increased yields. Better utilization of the nitrogen applied is the solution. Because we didn't add additional nitrogen to the accomplished treatment, but still had the highest yield, we have the best nitrogen use efficiency ratio. In another example, you can see that on average, the use of Accomplish LM increased the available phosphorus in the soil by 13 parts per million. It would take an additional 117 pounds of P2O5 to make the change shown in this trial. In a typical commercial phosphorus fertilizer, such as MAP, that is 52% P2O5, you would need 225 pounds of applied fertilizer to get 117 pounds of P2O5. And that is assuming it's all in an available form. The Phosphate Institute reports that applied phosphate is typically only 20 to 30% available for plant uptake in the first year. You can see how this 13 ppm increase in available phosphorus can provide tremendous value. So how do we increase yields to feed a growing world population responsibly with a finite set of resources, primarily arable land? In this video, we hope we've shown how Accomplish LM can be an effective supplement to existing fertility programs to increase the efficiency of those nutrients, helping to increase yield sustainably. Music